Chillopedia, this is Maxim. Let's talk about few things we can do in Dotsour etude number 51. This is such an amazing etude. A tough one, too. You will have to make more than 200 shifts. 243, to be precise. Most importantly, make sure that your grip left hand is fairly loose. That means you are not pressing too hard with your thumb against the neck of the cello. That will require special attention. So when you work in a slower tempo, after you figure out first few shifts, you will have to remind yourself to constantly check if your thumb is loose and relaxed. Another very important thing to work on this etude is your ability to imagine the next position before you have to make a shift. Let me give you a few examples how to work on this. A shift to the second position at the beginning of the second measure. Instead of thinking about third finger D, you might consider thinking about position of your first finger. And then you will realize from the end of the first measure to the beginning of the second measure, your first finger will have to make just a half a step. It's the same as if it goes from B to C natural. Let me show you. What I did is I just thought, okay, it's time to move one half step up. So one half step up is not a big deal. And once you think about this, then this shift will be much easier to make. This was fairly easy shift to master, but let's talk about more difficult spot. This is the second page, end of the sixth line. You start in a third position, E natural, but then after that you have to make a shift to F sharp. And one eighth note later you have to go back. So. What you have to think is, I have to make a half a step shift down and then right away half a step shift up. Right after that, you will have to make another half step shift down.
to D sharp. But then you stay in the same position to play B. So in this measure, that's what I had to learn. Quick succession, half a step shift down, half a step shift up. That's how I play first half of the measure. And the second half of the measure, after I make half a step down, after this shift, I stay in the same position. After you spend some time doing it in a slower tempo, then it will become much easier to do it like this. This way, thinking about shifts in terms of positions, in terms of distances, half step or whole step, you have to make, might be much more productive than just drilling the shift to the certain note over and over again. Another idea, and you can apply it to any piece of music, is that when you play, you have actually to look few notes ahead. Here we have so many notes. So when you play the note and you look at it, even in a slower tempo, you are stuck. You will have not enough time to think about the next note. So how you should train yourself? You have to look at the first two notes of the etude. And when you actually start playing them, you have to force yourself to look ahead to the next two notes. And when you play those two notes, your eyes have to be already looking at the following few notes. Very easy to say, way harder to do. But this will help you to play difficult music and also that's one of the key skills you'll have to master to sight read. We will definitely talk about sight reading sometimes in the future. I hope those few tips will help you. But of course, nothing can replace work in a slower tempo. And you remember, you shouldn't move to the faster tempo before you feel that it's very easy for you to play in a slower tempo. Otherwise, what we'll be learning is to play under stress. For sure, your left hand will be way more tense and you will have very little chance to make those 243 shifts well. And now I will play Dot Sour Etude number 51 in slower tempo, 8th note 60. You might just listen to it, you might decide to play alone, probably not from the beginning through the end right away. The best way is to find few measures and play them over again and again and then move to the different spot.
Thank you for listening. I'm sure you will succeed. And come again soon. I will play more cello music for you.